The last thing we're going to do for surface area is surface area of a composite figure. Surface area of a composite figure takes everything that we've done into consideration. We are dealing with the sum of all faces on the outside. Up until this point on every surface area page, you should have written outside because the goal is for you to realize surface area is always on the outside. When you come to these figures, the thing that's gonna be important to remember is that one of these faces on each figure isn't on the outside. Everything on that figure is not showing. And so you need to remember that two faces are touching. That means they are not on the outside. Now, for these examples, what I've done is I went ahead and gave you what the two figures that were used to make up that, so that way it made it a little easier for you to reflect back and look on what we did. For the first one, the triangular prism, we have to remember that we have two congruent triangles. And we're dealing with the base and the height of the triangle. So we note that the base and height of the triangle are 12 times 18 divided by 2 to give 108 meters squared. And there's two of them. I'll outline them for you. And we know that if the side down here is 18, that means the side up here has to be 18. That's how I knew that, and then the height of 12 was drawn in for us. So we have two triangles. Now we have to deal with the two rectangles. There are only two rectangles facing outside because this rectangle right here that I'm shading in lightly is on the inside. If you think of this as being a house or a barn, that's the bottom of the triangular prism. It's touching the top of the rectangular prism. It's not on the outside. Therefore, if it's not on the outside, we can't consider it, we can't think about it when we're doing surface area. Therefore, for our triangles, we remember that we deal with the three dimensions of the triangle, or the three sides of the triangle. So this triangle happens to be a 15, 15, and 18 are the three sides of our triangle. But we know that 18 is not the bottom of that rectangle, of that triangular prism. The 18 will not be accounted for. Now we need to think about what's the side that's connecting the two triangles? How long is that edge that has nothing to do with the triangles? The answer is 22. So we have 15 times 22, which is 330. And we have 15 times 22, which is 330 meters squared. Now to get the triangular prism, we have to add up the two triangles and the two rectangular faces. And that gives us 876 meters squared for the triangle. Now let's go into the rectangle, the rectangular prism. We know the dimensions, we write out the dimensions, which are 20 by 18 by 22. And we know that we're gonna use the smiley face method, which means we're multiplying by two. But the thing we have to keep in mind is that the shaded gray part is not going to be multiplied by two because we, that face, that roof of the rectangular prism, the top of that rectangular prism, that is not on the outside, so we don't count it. In looking, we have 20 by 18. So look at what 20 by 18 is. 20 by 18 is this face. And when you look at that face, yep, both the front and the back are on the outside, therefore we will multiply 20 by 18 by two, and that's how you get 720 meters squared. And then the next we wanna do is 18 by 22. 
if we take a look at 18 by 22, that's the bottom. Well, when you look at the bottom of that rectangular prism, the bottom of that rectangular prism, the same side's going to be the top of that rectangular prism, and we know that the top of the rectangular prism is not on the outside, therefore for 18 by 22, we are not multiplying by 2 because the, t the congruent face, the top, is not on the outside. The last one to take a look at is 20 by 22, and we want to know if it's on the outside. So 20 by 22 are these two faces, which are in fact on the outside, both of them. Therefore, we're going to multiply by 2, and that gives us 880 meters squared. We need to go through and add up the 720 plus the 396 plus the 880 to tell us that the surface area for the rectangular prism is 1,996 meters squared. And when we combine those two together, we get a surface area of 2,872 meters squared. Now let's take a look at two different figures that have been put together. We have a square pyramid and on top of a cube. So just to remind us this, that we're talking about when the, for surface area of a composite figure, it's the sum of all the faces on the outside and there's two faces that are touching and so therefore those two faces are not on the outside. For the square pyramid, we know that we're dealing with four congruent triangles. So the four triangles We need the base and the height of the triangle. This is really easy because it's marked nice and clearly. So we're talking about 13 times 20. It's a triangle, so we're going to divide by 2, which gives us 130, but there's four of them, so we multiply by 4, and that's going to equal 520 meters squared. Now, normally we would look at the base of that square pyramid, but let me go ahead and shade it in. The base of that square pyramid is sitting on top of that cube. Therefore, the base of that square pyramid is not on the outside, so we cannot take into account when we go to do our total. So we end up with just 520 meters squared or square meters for the square pyramid. For the cube, we go about it the same way we did a rectangular prism. We write down our dimensions. And it's a cube, so all the dimensions are the same. And we're going to do the smiley face method. And we know we're going to multiply by 2. But the thing to remember is that shaded top is not going to be counted in when we do our dimensions. So we end up having 20 by 20 by 2 and 20 by 20 by 2 and 20 by 20 but not by 2 because of that shaded part. Because all the faces are the same, if you chose to do 20 by 20 by 5, you could also go about it that way. 20 by 20 by 2 is 800 meters squared, and 20 by 20 is 400 square meters. So we add up 800 plus 800 plus 400, and that's how we ended up with 2,000 square meters or meters squared for the surface area of the cube. And when we combine those, we get that the surface area for that entire figure is 2,520 meters squared.